Back here for Antonio Beltran, who came on in the second half, replacing Arturo Garcia. And another substitution being made right now by Tigris. Coming into the game, Julio Chavez. Also entering the game is Americo Rodriguez. So the night is done for Morales. And also coming out of the game and taking the seat is Aguilar. Polito in the midfield for Tigres. Stumbles, loses his footing. Mikel has the ball. He'll play it out wide to Roca, to Hilario. Hilario on the left side, looking for the give and go. Gets it back from Rodriguez, who just checked into the game. And on a bounce, DeFabio grabs it and controls for AC Milan in the 54th minute. We remain tied 1-1. Fabio punts it out, well beyond halfway. Trying to find the foot of Karani, who can't control it, and Tigris has possession. Mikel gets it in the midfield. Has Hilario on the left side. Hilario trying to get around Skaneameo. The attack is switched to the right side. Played back to the middle of the field for the substitute. Chavez. Back out to the right side. That shot is blocked. That effort from Chavez is knocked down by Benedetti. 10 denied 10. And it is sent out wide right for AC Milan. Slipping is Skaneameo. And another substitute coming up for Tigres. Eduardo Rodriguez is coming into the game. Now four substitutions for Tigres. You only get six in a game, so they can only have two more substitutions. And the man who's getting a drink of water right now after a nice night's work is I believe Julio Orozco. So they have made two thirds of their allowed substitutions. This is Rodriguez looking for Hilario on the left side. Can't find him. Americo Rodriguez sets up a corner kick. I think Filippo. Noventa got a little bit lucky for AC Milan that time. He was trying to clear that ball, but when he did, it went right back to the top of the D. So Tigres had a good chance, and now they have a corner out of it. Hilario will take this corner kick. He's got six targets inside the area. And DeFabio gets a goal kick. We're still tied 1-1, nearly 56 minutes through. This supergroup game in bracket A of the 30th annual Dr. Pepper Dallas Cup at Pizza Hut Park in Frisco. AC Milan with a deep ball to no one in particular. And Ron Hell, the captain, controls for Tigres. He'll play it back to Eduardo Rodriguez. Sends it to Roca on his left. Has Hilario up the touchline, but looks even further downfield where a pushing foul is committed. And there you see Roberto Pertuzzo, the head coach of this AC Milan squad. Skips away from Scanetti, able to keep it in touch, and then a sliding tackle made by Tigres. Tackle made that time by Alonzo, or excuse me, it was uh, Cabrera. The last couple minutes, it seems like this game has kind of got bogged down a little bit. There was a couple chances at the start of the half, but since neither team has really had good possession time. Well, I, you know, Tigris has really changed the complexion of their team here in the last few minutes. Might take them a while to kind of get their chemistry back. Here's Horatio. He plays it 
to Americo Rodriguez. And it bounces into the hands of David DeFabio. 1-1 tie, 58th minute of action as DeFabio boots this one high in the air, well beyond halfway. Finds the target Mihailov, but Mihailov loses it with the first touch. Sent to Jose Cabrera, chasing it up the touch line. That ball's still in play. Remember, the whole ball has to go over the whole line. The ball can touch the line. It has to clear the line to be out of play. Cabrera Mota showed you some speed on that far side that time, as it was a speed on speed race down the sideline. Quick throw in as Tigris is 18 yards from goal. Little give and go action here, looking for Chavez. He heads it back inside the 18. Not a clean touch. And AC Milan is able to clear it. Polito would like to have that opportunity again. Some nice work in the area by Chavez, who plays it here, lays it back. Looking for Horacio on the left side. Just a little bit too much weight on that pass. Horacio never had a chance. Sets up a goal kick for David DeFabio. Another substitution, the fifth of the game, Jose Gomez coming into the game for Tigres. Now, they might opt not to make a sixth substitution here in case of an injury. Yeah, you would think that they would want to keep that luxury because if there was an injury happening, then they would have to play a man down. And I think one of the interesting things about that pass substitution is they just took Jose Cabrera, number 21, the person who got the goal for them. I like to think that right now, I think Tigres is just trying to get all their players into the game that they can, just get everyone a little bit of experience at Dallas Cup. So they've made five of six. They've got one more substitution allowed. Has Milan made a substitution? I do not have them down uh, any substitutions. I think thus Milan far. has all six of their subs remaining. So we'll see what their strategy is as we nearly completed an hour of play at Frisco Park, at uh, Pizza Hut Park in Frisco. Now, saying that Tigris is getting some more players in, I mean, it's not like they're putting in lesser of players. And you got to remember, I think that Tigris is located in Monterrey, Mexico. It's a little bit closer than Milan, Italy. So I think that they may have a little bit more family and friends in the stands than some of the other players for AC Milan. Polito plays it back to Roca. Roca plays it square. Chavez sends it out wide to the right side. Chavez then makes a run, hoping to get the ball back. Instead, AC Milan steals it away from Jose Gomez. And Milan, Scanetti, begins the counter-attacking run. All the way to the top of the D, played to the right side. Maybe not enough weight on that pass. At the byline, Mihailov centers it, but it's cleared away by the Tigres defense. AC Milan was maybe a yard away from taking a 2-1 lead. Good job by Ra by Rongel, the captain for that Tigris team, to clear that one off the line. Noventa. AC Milan will throw it in once more. Noventa propelling it into the area, has a man posting up, and it's headed away. Now Hilario trying to win the ball for Tigris, battling Scanetti. Hilario accelerates at the middle of the field. Has a man making a run on the left side. That's Polito. Polito gets tripped up. And that will be a yellow card offense. Marcelo Vintagera will be booked. And a free kick coming up just outside the area on the left side for Tigris. You see the replay there. He just got all leg, didn't really go for the ball that much there. I think it was a deserved yellow card. No doubt about it. I think Vince Guerra knew it right away. Lelario well, sets the ball down. Julio Chavez is also behind the ball here. Will it be Chavez or Hilario? It appears it will be Chavez. Chavez will drive it to the back post. He sends it over the crossbar. 
Not a bad effort from Chavez, who was a second half substitution. That's two times that we've seen free kicks go on goal. That one just missed being on target. Earlier in the game, we saw AC Milan as we look at the replay right here. Boy, he almost found the upper 90 with that one. Good strike, just got a little bit unlucky with the placement. Here's to Fabio's goal kick. Sent to the halfway line, where AC Milan is awarded a free kick. Polito's given a warning. Polito protesting. The ball is rolled back. A little gamesmanship there. Long ball in the direction of Karani. Tigris turns it around. Valario heads it down, now chested down. Now volleys it to Polito. Back to Hilario, it eludes Hilario's right boot. Milan clears, Scanetti unable to win the 50-50 header for Milan. Ron Hell with a bicycle kick, sends it back beyond halfway, it's coming back toward him. Now an exchange of possession in the midfield. The race is on to win the 50-50 ball. Milan controls on the touch line, but Aquilante turns it over to Mikel. Hilario has it. Boy, Hilario's been all over the pitch tonight. And very active on this left side. Tries to send it up the inside left channel, but is denied by the Milan defense. And then an aggressive play sends Skinamayo down to the ground. Game may have lose some of his finesse in the past 20 minutes or so, but the physical aspect of it has really picked up. And Maybe a slight bit of acting here from Hilario to win the free kick. Quickly chips it past Ganeameo. Into touch, throw in for AC Milan. 65th minute of play, Tigris and AC Milan in a 1-1 tie. Both teams eliminated from advancing to knockout rounds, but they're playing this like it's for the Dallas Cup Championship. I think that goes back to how much this Dallas Cup means to all these teams involved, especially the international ones. Chavez finds Hilario on the left wing side. Hilario pushes it toward the 18. Now plays it toward the midfield, where Milan's defense wins it. Benedetti with the first touch for Milan. Scanetti chases it down on the left side. Ron Hell in front of him, marking tightly. Now Mikel comes over to help out, but Ron Hell trips up Scanetti, and here's an opportunity for AC Milan with a free kick restart just outside the penalty area. 1-1 one, one tie in the 66th minute. We saw this almost exact same situation uh, not too long ago where it was Scanetti again having a free kick from almost this exact same spot that he put right on goal. Scanetti will get another opportunity to break this tie. That's Benedetti to his right. You would expect that it's going to be Scanetti who strikes the ball here. Well, there's the sixth substitution into the game for Tigris. It's Martin Moreno. So that's it. If, if Tigris should have a man go down injured as a diving save is made by Antonio Beltran off the Scanetti free kick. If a man goes down injured, there's no substitutions left for Tigris. They'd have to play a man down. Yeah, and you have to be worried about that as a coach, but I think what the head coach of Tigris is really thinking right now is just to get all the players in. Here's Scanetti with a corner. Looking for Karani. Karani looking for his second goal, but can't get a clean header. It glances off of his head, and it is out of play, and it's a throw in for Tigris. Polito heads it, but it is intercepted. This is Mikhailov at the 18, taking off the ball. Milan still controls. Akalate shoots, and it's knocked down by Beltron, and it's over the end line. And a corner kick for AC Milan, and a 1-1 tie in the 68th minute. It's going to be the fifth corner this game for AC Milan. They haven't had 
any goals off of them thus far, but maybe this is going to be the lucky fifth one if you're AC Milan. Nicolo Mata, with this corner kick effort, sends it to the back post. Tigres wins possession and clears it, giving chases Jose Gomez. Gomez trying to feed Chavez. Scanetti has it from Milan. An aerial for Karani. The flag is up offsides. Yeah, a little action after that play as there was some pushing going on. But on AC Milan's, I think that could have been the first time all game that Karan was offside. He's been very good at going after the backside and just barely staying on side. That time he got.